we're going to look at different free real-time information sources available to monitor the Gotthard Tunnel traffic in Switzerland. From webcams to websites and ex-Twitter accounts, and much more on new sources available, but as well we'll touch on options when an internet access is not possible. And we will evaluate the benefits and how reliable these options are. And how you can use the information to save time and reduce your stress travelling through Switzerland by car. There are only a few traffic webcams to show you the traffic flow before the north portal of the Gotthard Tunnel in the direction to Italy. There is a webcam after the Seelisberg Tunnel at Lake Lucerne, 32 kilometers away from the Gotthard Tunnel. The next traffic webcam is in Wassen, 4 kilometers before tunnel. So for 28 kilometers, there are no webcams. It is webcam black box. Monitoring the traffic flow is much easier before the Gotthard Tunnel's south entrance when travelling towards Germany. Canton Ticino operates more webcams than any other canton in Switzerland. Here are 15 webcams shown from a total of 57 webcams on their website. We have highlighted the most important webcams to watch and the direction they are pointing to. You find the link to their website in the description. Webcams offer a snapshot, a quick confirmation of traffic at their distance to the Gotthard Tunnel, but they fall short in revealing the full extent of a traffic jam. Additionally, they provide current weather conditions at their location. However, their reliability isn't absolute. Webcams may display outdated images, experience operational issues, or even remain offline indefinitely. Plus, during nighttime or specific sunlight angles, image clarity can be compromised. Stay ahead of traffic jams at the Gotthard Tunnel with real time updates from two dedicated Twitter accounts. For south and north portal congestion lengths, follow Gotthard Tunnel traffic English tweets and TCS Verkehr Gotthard German tweets. Set notifications on your mobile device to receive timely alerts. Find direct account links in this video's description. TCS will additionally give alerts on dangerous road conditions and reason for tunnel closures. Use Google's translation services integrated into your browser or Twitter app for translations of the TCS tweets. The translations are quite accurate. TCS Verkehr Gotthard is usually the first to announce traffic changes. Both accounts are most of the time quite reliable. On occasions, they will jump by two to three kilometers in reporting of the traffic jam or broadcast a wrong length of the traffic jam. When traffic clears down to zero kilometers, the account Gotthard Tunnel is more dependable. TCS Verkehr might then stop their updates around two to three kilometers. There are three websites. Find all links in this video's description. The Touring Club Switzerland website is the most prominent website for Gotthard Tunnel traffic information. It not only displays the current traffic situation, but also provides tips on avoiding the Gotthard traffic jam. The website is available only in the official languages of Switzerland, German, French, and Italian. For English, you need to use a translation tool, for example, in the Google browser. Gotthard Tunnel Live Traffic is quite a useful website, but focused solely on the traffic situation. This website is available in four languages – English, French, Italian and German. Gotthard Tunnel Actuel is another website specifically dedicated to the traffic situation at the Gotthard Tunnel, but only in German. Websites show actually the same updates, then Twitter. Unlike Twitter, where there is an alert feature available, you have to actively navigate to these websites to monitor the traffic changes. But what if you need a real-time continuous traffic monitoring beyond just these occasionally updates? Online, you'll find several maps providing real-time traffic updates. Three notable options are TomTom, ADAC, the German Automobile Club, and Google Maps. These platforms are also useful for route planning. Find all links in this video's description. Google Maps is very reliable. Following it the whole year and comparing it to the other traffic news, Google Map was not only correct but really real-time with no delays. But unfortunately, it doesn't display distances one cannot determine waiting times and assess traffic length. So how to monitor really real-time and see the length of traffic and waiting time as well? 
there is now a live stream on YouTube for instant updates on the Gotthard Tunnel traffic. Get the latest on real-time traffic flow, queue lengths and wait times. Plus, the live stream will cover the real-time traffic on alternative routes, helping you make the best decision for your journey. Find the link in the description. While YouTube Livestream offers a comprehensive traffic updates on the Gotthard Tunnel and fellow viewers can engage through comments, please note, nighttime visibility may be limited for webcams and occasionally YouTube might experience interruptions. Roaming charges might still apply to some viewers. No internet, no problem. Keep up with the Gotthard Tunnel traffic the old-fashioned way. Tune in to SRF Radio 1 or other stations for regular broadcasts on the latest traffic conditions. Watch out for the signalling signposts along the A2 highway for up-to-the-minute traffic lengths. Or, for a small fee, dial 163 for traffic updates right from your phone. In this video, we showed how to monitor the Gotthard Tunnel with a wealth of real-time information at your fingertips. Yet you can't always dodge the traffic jams, but you can certainly outsmart them. Discover peak times and plan your journey accordingly. Bonus tip, Gotthard Tunnel Traffic Site offers a great overview. Want to see how Saturdays, for example, in June, look at the North Portal? Find the link in the description. And for those seeking alternatives, stay tuned for our upcoming videos, where we'll dive into monitoring traffic on other routes and the key drivers for the peak traffic days at the Gotthard Tunnel.